duck confit, confit de canal, an absolutely timeless and beloved recipe and method of cooking going back to the Middle Ages in France, or maybe even further, both for its flavorful and preservative qualities. And hey, something that's lasted this test of time has to be good, right? We're gonna show you guys an easy and almost effortless duck confit recipe. Watch this. All right, duck confit works best with the fattiest parts of the duck, so you're gonna want your darker meat. So let's go ahead and butcher this duck. Because they spend so much of their lives in flight, duck meat can be pretty dark all over. Now that can vary a little bit based on the type of the duck. For our purposes, we're gonna use the wings, legs, and thighs today. We're looking again for where this thing joins, so I can feel it right there. Perfect quarters right there. If you're feeling for that joint right there, you can disconnect that, just put the point of your knife in there, pops right free. Perfect quarter. The actual recipe can vary a little bit, but you can keep it really simple. Start with a few crushed juniper berries and some finely chopped garlic. And then combine this with some kosher salt and black pepper. You're basically making your own dry rub, and then you're gonna cover all your duck pieces on both sides with that rub. And man, at this point it's looking good already. Now at this point, this is where you need some patience. You're gonna drop all those pieces into a Ziploc bag, add a few sprigs of thyme and some bay leaves, and you're gonna put them in the fridge for one to three days. Now we're gonna remove all the extra seasoning before we cook it. All right, seasoning removed. We're gonna go ahead and, I got a pot here. We're gonna go ahead and just throw all of our duck meat down into this pot. We're gonna put the skin side down, uh, except for these wings, which, you know, skin's on all sides. So we're gonna tuck these in nice and neat down here on the bottom of this pot. All right, so I got three cups of rendered duck fat here and we're just gonna go ahead and pour this over our duck. Hopefully it's enough to submerge it. If it's not, not a big deal. Wish I had more fat. My whole life I spent trying to get rid of excess fat, now I need more of it. All right, we're gonna put this in here on 225. Oh, got too many racks. All right, 225 for three hours. And when it's done, this meat should just be just falling off the bone. That's how you know it's done. Three hours later. Oh, that smells good. Oh my goodness, look. It's coming off the bone on those wings. Make sure that you save your rendered duck fat that you use to cook the duck. You could save your duck meat in here for months at a time without it going bad in that duck fat. Let's go ahead and plate this thing. We got greens going over here. I got potatoes roasting over here, and I think we are set to eat. All right, I'm gonna take this out and just kind of, I don't know, drain it or just let it rest for a second. Oh man, it's like it's perfect, perfect. It's wanting to come apart on me. Here we go, let's go ahead and uh, let's make us a plate. Come right in here with our duck. Just like that. It's got a few radishes. Some purple one in here. A little bit of grated parm right on top. Not too much. All right, let's sprinkle a little bit of parsley over top. A little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. We like to add that to about everything around here. Son, if it's gonna get better than that, somebody else is gonna have to do it. I'm gonna tell you what. Oh, look at that. It's just like, oh, it's just falling off. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get in here. It's one of those meals like once every so often. It's totally special. I'm gonna, I got you some of the skin too. Tell me that's not just Whoa. delicious. That is so tender. Man. It's I'm, so good. I'm proud of us, baby. Duck hunters, pay attention. This recipe is absolutely simple and delicious. You're gonna love it. Give duck confit a try the next time you come home with a nice, nice duck haul. We'll see you guys next time. God bless you.